Welcome back World Information HD to another exciting episode. Today, we're delving into the world of Jefferson Nichols, those humble yet valuable coins that could be hiding in your pocket change. But beware, these aren't your average nickels. These are ultra-rare and worth millions. So, let's dive into the top 10 most valuable Jefferson Nichols of all time. Today, we're diving deep into the world of numismatics to uncover a hidden gem, the 1964 Jefferson Nickel. You might think it's just another ordinary coin, but hold on tight because this one holds a secret worth a staggering $45,000. The Jefferson Nickel, a staple in American coinage, has a rich history dating back to its inception in 1938. But what makes the 1964 edition so special? Well, it's all about the silver. Unlike its predecessors, the 1964 Jefferson Nickel was struck in 90% silver due to a shortage of nickel during that time. This makes it a rarity among collectors and investors alike. Now, you might be wondering, how can a humble nickel be worth $45,000? It all comes down to scarcity and condition. I and the world of coin collecting, condition is king. A 1964 Jefferson nickel in pristine, uncirculated condition can fetch a hefty sum at auction. But it's not just about its state of preservation. Rarity plays a crucial role too. So, how rare are we talking? Well, it's estimated that only a handful of these silver nickels were ever minted, making them highly sought after by collectors. Now, let's talk about the key factors that determine the value of a 1964 Jefferson nickel. First up, mint mark. The mint mark, denoting where the coin was minted, can significantly affect its value. Coins minted in Denver, D, Philadelphia, no mint mark, and San Francisco, S, all have different levels of rarity. Next, we have the condition. Even the slightest imperfection can decrease the value of a coin significantly. So, if you happen to stumble upon a 1964 Jefferson nickel in mint condition, consider yourself lucky. And finally, we have the grading. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, MS, with MS70 being the highest grade possible. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. At auction, collectors and investors eagerly bid on these rare specimens, driving the price up to jaw dropping heights. So, there you have it. Folks, the 1964 Jefferson nickel may just look like your average five cent coin, but in the world of numismatics, it's a hidden treasure worth $45,000. Who knows? You might have one sitting in your pocket right now. Thanks for joining me on this journey through numismatic history. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving deep into the world of numismatics to uncover the story behind a seemingly ordinary coin that holds extraordinary value. That's right. We're talking about the 1974 D. Jefferson nickel. Now, at first glance, this might just look like any other nickel you'd find in your pocket change. But oh, it's so much more than that. Let's talk about why this particular coin is worth a jaw-dropping $64,000. So, what makes the 1974 D. Jefferson nickel so special? Well, it's all about rarity and condition. You see, in 1974, the Denver Mint struck these nickels, but due to various factors like low mintages and production errors, only a handful of them made it into circulation. And here's where it gets really interesting. Among those few nickels minted in Denver, there are some with distinctive characteristics that make them highly sought after by collectors. First off, keep an eye out for any nickels with full steps on Monticello. This refers to the steps on the back of the coin leading up to Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's iconic estate. A nickel with full steps indicates a well-struck coin, which is quite rare for the 1974 D. Next, examine the overall condition of the coin. Is it well preserved? Any signs of wear and tear? Coins in mint condition fetch a much higher price in the collector's market. But wait, there's more. Production errors add another layer of intrigue to this already fascinating coin. Keep an eye out for any off-center strikes, doubling, or other anomalies. These imperfections can significantly increase the coin's value. Now, let's talk numbers. Why is the 1974 D. Jefferson nickel worth $64,000? Well, it all comes down to supply and demand. With only a limited number of these nickels in existence, and collectors eager to add them to their collections, prices have soared in recent years. So, if you happen to come across a 1974 D. Jefferson nickel in your pocket change or inherited a coin collection, don't dismiss it as just another nickel. Take a closer look, because you might be holding on to a small fortune. And there you have it, folks! The fascinating story behind the 1974 D. Jefferson nickel worth $64,000. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe for more coin collecting adventures. Until next time, happy hunting! Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of numismatics to explore the value and worth of the 1978 Jefferson Nickel, a coin that might just surprise you with its potential worth. The Jefferson Nickel, introduced in 1938 to honor the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, has seen many variations over the years. But what makes the 1978 edition so special? Well, my friends, it's all about the minting process and a little stroke of luck. You see, in 1978, the U.S. Mint inadvertently produced a small number of Jefferson nickels with a unique error that has since become highly sought after by collectors worldwide. This error, known as the No S Mint Mark, occurred when the coin was struck without the usual mint mark indicating its origin. These coins were supposed to be minted in San Francisco, hence the S Mint Mark, but due to an oversight, some were released into circulation without it. Now, you might be wondering, why is this tiny error such a big deal? Well, my friends, rarity is the key. It's estimated that only a handful of these, no S, 1978 Jefferson Nichols exist, making them incredibly rare and highly desirable among collectors. But just how much are these elusive coins worth? Brace yourselves, folks, because the value might just blow your mind. Recent auctions have seen these coins fetch prices upwards of $78,000. That's right, $78,000 for a nickel. It's a testament to the passion and dedication of coin collectors who recognize the historical significance and rarity of these treasures. So, if you happen to come across a 1978 Jefferson nickel in your pocket change or tucked away in grandma's old coin jar, take a closer look. You just might be holding a small fortune in the palm of your hand. Thanks for joining me on this numismatic journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving deep into the world of numismatics, specifically focusing on the 1982 Jefferson Nickel. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin holds quite a bit of value, with some even fetching a whopping $65,000. Stick around as we uncover the story behind this remarkable piece of American history. Before we get into the nitty-gritty of its value, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The 1982 Jefferson Nickel was minted during a fascinating era in American numismatic history. It was a time when the U.S. Mint was experimenting with different compositions for its coins due to rising metal costs. This particular nickel was produced in both copper nickel and copper nickel clad compositions, making it a point of interest for collectors. Now you might be wondering, what sets the 1982 Jefferson nickel apart from other coins? Well, it all boils down to rarity and condition. While millions of these nickels were minted, only a small fraction of them were struck on special planchets or error coins, resulting in variations that are highly sought after by collectors. One such variation is the no-p mint mark nickel. In 1982, the Philadelphia mint accidentally omitted the p mint mark on a small number of nickels, making them incredibly rare. If you happen to stumble upon one of these gems in your coin collection, you could be looking at a substantial payday. But rarity isn't the only factor driving up the value of the 1982 Jefferson nickel. Condition plays a significant role as well. Coins that are in pristine, uncirculated condition are highly coveted by collectors and can command top dollar at auctions. In fact, in 2019, a 1982 Jefferson nickel in superb condition sold for a jaw-dropping $65,000 at auction. That's right, $65,000 for a single nickel. Imagine what that could mean for your coin collection. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for the 1982 Jefferson nickel. Who knows? You might have a hidden treasure sitting right in your pocket. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, happy collecting. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. See you in the next video. Welcome back to our channel, where we unravel the mysteries of numismatics. Today, we have an exciting discovery to share with you all, a coin that's not just rare but worth a small fortune. Behold the 1982 P. Jefferson nickel. Now, you might be thinking, a nickel worth thousands? How's that possible? Well, let me tell you, my friends, this little coin holds a fascinating story. Minted in Philadelphia in 1982, this Jefferson nickel initially seems like any other from that era. But here's the kicker, the key to its value lies in a minute detail, almost invisible to the naked eye. Right here, on the obverse side, if you take a closer look at the date, you might spot something peculiar. Instead of the regular. 
1982. You'd expect there's a small P minmark above Monticello. This tiny P signifies that this nickel was minted in Philadelphia. But what makes it incredibly rare is the fact that Philadelphia didn't typically put mint marks on its coins during that time. It's estimated that only a handful of these nickels were mistakenly produced with the mint mark, making them an absolute treasure for collectors. Now, let's talk numbers. While a regular 1982 P. Jefferson nickel might fetch a few cents, experts have valued this rare variety at a staggering $54,000. Imagine stumbling upon one of these in your loose change. It's like hitting the jackpot in the world of numismatics.so. How can you identify if you have this elusive coin in your collection? Well, keep an eye out for that tiny P minmark above the dome of Monticello. And if you're lucky enough to find one, hold on to it tightly. And there you have it, folks. The incredible story of the 1982 P. Jefferson nickel worth a whopping $54,000. Remember, the value of coins isn't always in their denomination but in the history and rarity they carry. Until next time, happy hunting and may your pockets be filled with hidden treasures. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Happy collecting! Today, we're diving deep into the world of numismatics to uncover a hidden gem, the 1990p Jefferson nickel. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin could be worth a fortune. Before we get into the nitty-gritty details, let's take a step back and explore the history behind the Jefferson nickel. Introduced in 1938, this iconic coin features a profile of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello on the reverse. Now, let's fast forward to 1990. The Philadelphia Mint produced millions of Jefferson nickels that year, just like any other year. However, among the vast sea of coins minted, there was a rare and valuable anomaly. What sets the 1990p Jefferson nickel apart from its counterparts is a subtle error that occurred during the minting process. Some of these coins were struck with a double die obverse, resulting in a distinct doubling of the image of Thomas Jefferson's profile. This error might seem minor, but to collectors, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. And this is where the value skyrockets.so, just how much is this seemingly ordinary coin worth? Brace yourselves we're talking about a whopping dollar seventy-five zero zero zero. Yes, you heard that right. $75,000 for a nickel. But why such a hefty price tag? Rarity, my friends. Rarity is the name of the game in the world of coin collecting. With only a handful of these double die era coins known to exist, demand far outweighs supply, driving up the value significantly. Now, you might be wondering how to identify if you have one of these valuable nickels in your possession. Well, it's all about paying attention to the details. Look for clear doubling of Thomas Jefferson's profile on the obverse of the coin. If you spot this distinct doubling, congratulations. You might just be holding a small fortune in your hands. And there you have it, folks, the fascinating story of the 1990p Jefferson nickel worth $75,000. Who would have thought that such a small coin could hold so much value? Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating tales from the world of numismatics. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of numismatics to uncover a hidden gem, the 1997d Jefferson nickel. You might be surprised to learn that this seemingly ordinary coin could be worth a small fortune. The 1997 D. Jefferson nickel is a fascinating piece of American history. Minted in Denver, Colorado, this coin holds a special place in the hearts of collectors due to its rarity and unique characteristics. But why is this particular nickel so sought after? Let's break it down. First off, the D. Mintmark signifies that this coin was minted in Denver. While millions of Jefferson nickels were produced in 1997, only a limited number were minted in Denver, making them relatively scarce compared to their Philadelphia counterparts. But rarity alone isn't enough to drive up the value of a coin. What sets the 1997 D. Jefferson nickel apart is its unique error. Some of these nickels were struck with a peculiar characteristic, a set of doubling on Thomas Jefferson's eye and nose, known as the double die error. This error occurred during the minting process, where the coin's design was inadvertently stamped twice, creating a distinct doubling effect. And it's this error that transforms an ordinary nickel into a highly coveted collectible. Now, you're probably wondering, just how much is this coin worth? Brace yourselves, folks. The 1997 D. Jefferson nickel with the double die error has been known to fetch jaw-dropping prices at auctions and among collectors. I, in fact, in recent years, specimens of this rare nickel have sold for upwards of $41,000. Yes, you heard that right, $41,000 for a single nickel. 
It's a testament to the passion and dedication of coin collectors worldwide. So, if you happen to stumble upon a 1997 D. Jefferson nickel in your pocket change or tucked away in an old coin jar, don't dismiss it as just another nickel. Take a closer look. You might just be holding a small fortune in your hands. Thanks for joining me on this numismatic journey. Until next time, happy collecting. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of numismatics to explore the story behind a seemingly ordinary coin, the 1999 P. Jefferson nickel. But hold on to your seats, because this coin holds a surprising secret. It could be worth a small fortune. Let's start with a brief history lesson. The Jefferson nickel, first minted in 1938, has undergone various design changes throughout the years. The 1999 P. Jefferson nickel, however, stands out from the rest due to a unique error that occurred during its production. Take a look at this beauty. Now, what makes this coin so special? Well, it's all about the minmark. You see, most Jefferson nickels minted in 1999 bear the standard P. minmark, indicating they were minted in Philadelphia. However, a small number of these coins were struck with an error, the absence of the P. minmark. That's right. If you stumble upon one of these rare gems without the P. minmark, you may have just hit the jackpot. But how valuable can these coins really be? Allow me to introduce you to this certified beauty, a 1999 P. Jefferson nickel without the P. minmark, graded by a professional coin grading service. Now brace yourselves, because this coin, in pristine condition, can fetch a staggering $32,000 or even more at auction, but why such a high price tag? It all boils down to scarcity and demand. With only a handful of these era coins known to exist, collectors are willing to pay top dollar to add them to their prized collections. Now, you might be wondering, how do you spot one of these valuable coins? Well, it's all about paying attention to the details. Look closely at the area where the mintmark should be. If you don't see the P mintmark, you may have just unearthed a hidden treasure. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or someone who just stumbled upon an old jar of coins in the attic, keep your eyes peeled for the elusive 1999 P. Jefferson nickel without the P. minmark. Who knows? You might be holding on to a small fortune without even realizing it. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for joining me on this exciting numismatic adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of coins. Until next time, happy hunting! Today, we are diving into the captivating world of numismatics to uncover a hidden gem the 2001 D. Jefferson nickel. You heard it right, folks. This seemingly ordinary coin could be worth a fortune, with some specimens fetching up to a jaw-dropping $23,000. So, let's unravel the mystery behind this elusive treasure. The 2001 D. Jefferson nickel may appear like any other coin in your pocket, but don't be fooled by its unassuming demeanor. Minted at the Denver Mint in 2001, this nickel carries a significant historical and monetary value that makes it highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts alike. Take a closer look at its design. On the obverse, we have the iconic profile of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. Meanwhile, the reverse features his beloved Monticello estate, a symbol of American heritage and democracy. But what sets this coin apart from the rest? The key to the 2001 D. Jefferson nickel's value lies in its rarity and condition. While millions of these coins were minted, only a select few were struck with a unique error that has sent collectors into a frenzy. Known as the speared bison error, some of these coins exhibit a die crack resembling a spear running through the buffalo on the reverse side. This intriguing error not only adds a fascinating story to the coin's history, but also significantly elevates its value in the eyes of collectors. And if you're lucky enough to stumble upon one in pristine condition, you could be looking at a windfall of $23,000 or more. So, how can you determine if you have struck gold with your 2001 D. Jefferson nickel? Well, keep an eye out for that distinctive dye crack running through the buffalo. Additionally, consult with reputable coin grading services to assess its condition accurately. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, the 2001 D. Jefferson nickel presents an exciting opportunity to unearth a valuable piece of American history right from your pocket change. So, next time you come across a nickel, Take a closer look it might just be your ticket to a $23,000 treasure. Thanks for joining us today, and until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of numismatics to explore a seemingly ordinary coin with an extraordinary story, the 2002 P. Jefferson nickel. You might be surprised to learn that this unassuming piece of currency could potentially be worth a staggering $24,000. 
So, what makes this particular nickel so special? Let's delve into its history and uncover the factors that contribute to its significant value. The Jefferson Nickel, introduced in 1938, features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello, Jefferson's plantation, on the reverse. Over the years, various minting errors, dye varieties, and limited editions have captured the attention of collectors, adding intrigue to this iconic coin series. Now, let's focus on the 2002 P. Jefferson Nickel. Produced at the Philadelphia Mint, this coin appears outwardly ordinary, but it's what lies beneath the surface that sets it apart. Point one of the key factors contributing to its value is the potential presence of a rare error known as the spitting bison. This error occurs when the die used to strike the coin fails to fully impress the design, resulting in a bison image that appears to be spitting or drooling. Detecting this error requires careful examination under magnification, but if you happen to find one, you could be holding a coin worth thousands of dollars. Beyond the spitting bison error, other factors can also influence the value of the 2002 P. Jefferson nickel, including its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. So, how can you determine if your 2002 P. Jefferson nickel is worth a small fortune? First, inspect the coin for any anomalies, such as doubling, missing details, or unusual marks. Next, consult reputable coin grading resources or seek the expertise of a professional numismatist to assess its condition and rarity accurately. Remember, the world of coin collecting is filled with hidden treasures waiting to be discovered, and the 2002 P. Jefferson nickel might just hold the key to unlocking your fortune. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic journey. Until next time, happy hunting, and may your pockets be filled with valuable coins.